setting up and maintenance. Half the fun is in the unpacking. At the top of the packaging, you should find the after-sale service information. In the larger box, you will find the Helozone unit and power plug. Carefully lift out the instrument and place it on a worktop. The following accessories should be contained in this box. pH balancer vials, desiccant granules and funnel, moisture trap, air dryer, instrument hose, foot switch, silicon cups in a variety of sizes, patient kits and the handpiece. Please note, remember to save the box and other packaging. You will need it when sending your Helozone unit away for its professional annual servicing. Cavo Helozone produces ozone from the ambient air. This air contains moisture, which must be removed. The instrument therefore requires an air dryer, which we are going to install now. Open the cover on the side of the instrument and remove the stoppers from the top and bottom of the air dryer. You should now insert the air dryer into the instrument, making sure that it snaps securely into its holder. Fit the end of the hose onto the connection piece at the base of the air dryer. After treatment, the ozone is drawn off and converted back into oxygen. Saliva and other liquids are first separated and caught in a moisture trap before the ozone is converted. To attach the moisture trap, Fasten the screw cap onto the thread and fit the other end of the hose onto the connection piece. Be careful not to bend or twist the hoses. We now need to connect up the handpiece and instrument hose. Before first use, you need to sterilize both. For instance, in a steam sterilizer with sterilizing temperatures of up to 135 degrees Celsius or 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Wrap silicone grease over the O-rings on the quick couplings and fit the end of the instrument hose into the console, making sure that it snaps in place. Give it a gentle tug to check that it is on properly. Now fit the handpiece onto the other end of the instrument hose. Give this part a gentle tug too to make sure everything is secure. The handpiece is still missing a silicon cup. Fit the cup over the groove at the head of the handpiece. The silicon cup must sit securely in the groove, otherwise a good seal will not be created. Insert the connector for the foot switch at the back of the unit towards the base. The unit can of course be operated without the foot switch. Fit the power supply connector into the back of the unit and plug the other end in at the mains. Before initial startup, please check that the supply voltage is set correctly for the country in which you are operating. Voltage can be set at either 230 volt or 115 volt using the voltage selector switch. We are now ready for the first test run. Switch on the unit's main switch. You'll see a self-test being run on the screen. If the test is successful, the main menu appears on the display screen. If you now press the start button or operate the foot switch, the pump turns on. If there is a closed air circulation, that is a vacuum, treatment can begin. You'll be shown how to operate the Hill Zone unit in the next chapter. Hint: If no vacuum is created, check the O-rings and replace if necessary. Before you can use it for your first treatment, you have to disinfect and clean both the handpiece and the instrument hose. You must disinfect the handpiece and hose both inside and out before each use and between every application. Please use spray disinfectants or disinfectant impregnated wipes only. No disinfectant baths. Do not put the handpiece or instrument hose in ultrasound cleaning units. This could cause a malfunction. To clean the interior of the handpiece and hose, first rinse the handpiece and the hose with water. 
use 500 milliliters of water in for this cleaning procedure. Using an infusion syringe, inject 50 milliliters of 70% isopropanol solution into the handpiece. Repeat this procedure two more times. Fit the adapter onto the quick coupler for the instrument hose and inject 50 milliliters of isopropanol solution into it as above, repeating a further two times. Once you have done this, clear the air duct using compressed air, then wipe. Make sure that there is still sufficient grease on the coupling O-rings. Disinfect the hose and handpiece once again, if necessary. You are now ready to treat your first patient. A few words of advice regarding the cleaning and maintenance of your new instrument. Before cleaning the unit yourself, make sure that its main switch is off. Use an alcohol or disinfectant impregnator wipe to disinfect the unit. To clean the unit, use a soft cloth impregnated with mild cleaning fluid. After a certain amount of time, you will need to replace the desiccant. The system will inform you when this becomes necessary. Detach the end of the hose from the lower connection piece. Remove the dryer from its holder. Detach the upper stoppers and dispose of the used desiccant in accordance with relevant local and national waste disposal regulations. Place the funnel over the dryer and pour in the new desiccant until the dryer is full. Put the stopper back in the air dryer to seal it and fit the dryer back into its holder. Now fit the end of the hose back onto the lower connection piece. All that remains is to do another test run and you can continue. Please note, the desiccant is obtainable from your Helozone dealer. The moisture trap should also be replaced on a regular basis, when it is half full at the latest. For reasons of hygiene, you should check how full it is once a week. Dispose of the moisture trap in accordance with local and national regulations governing the disposal of contaminated waste. Servicing intervals. Your Helozone unit must be professionally serviced once a year. In some countries we offer a collection service, meaning that your unit will be collected and returned to you as soon as possible. Please check with your dental dealer or the subsidiary how this is handled in your country. An up-to-date servicing record is located on the interior of the unit's door. Need to know more? Please contact the Cavo After Sales Service Team or send an email to info at